afternoon everybody happy saturday afternoon i hope you are all enjoying your day i have come back in to do another art journal page this afternoon and i'm going to do something uh, a bit bright a bit punchy a bit of color and something that has been done a few times but something that's really fun and really easy and i'm going to do a bit of a take on it uh, so I'm going to do a, a single art journal page here as part of the fantastic online show weekend that we have going on at the moment. So just quickly, um, public service announcement for those who are interested. There is a 15% off stamps and stencils online at the moment on nataliemay.com.au as well as... 15% off dyes as well as Art by Marlene products. There's a heap of things on special, um, something for everyone. And don't forget we have our no judgment postage, which means that you will be able to bundle your postage together and just pay, pay a one flat rate of $12.50 for postage, etc, uh, etc. Et so earlier today, I created in the last live Facebook, we did this art journal page here and you can scroll back down and watch that uh, or have a look on my YouTube channel and it's, well, you'll find it all on there as well. Uh, today I'm going to fold that over and I'm going to pop my paints up here for the time being. I'm going to be using the Art by Marlene paints. So these are fabulous to use, super duper easy and really really fun and I'm just going to start with getting a whole heap of colour on my page. So this is my large dilutions journal and it's I've just had a little bit of gesso in the background um, a little bit of gesso just to kind of give the background a bit of a, a preparation um, now, you'll notice there's a couple of lines coming up. That's because you can there's a bit of stenciling going in under the page underneath. Um, but this page, this project that I'm going to create now is all about layering. So it doesn't really matter too much to me about what's underneath it because I'm going to cover a lot of it up. So I hope you've all enjoyed the online show weekend and you're you know, also checking out some of the other exhibitors because there's quite a few... Uh, Australian companies involved and uh, we all we all do fabulously different things um, we here specialize in well we don't really specialize in anything in particular we are a paper business and we do everything to do with paper crafting I guess so I'm just going to paint a whole heap of colors on the background and I'm mixing all my colors together. I'm not worrying about too much overlap. Just getting it on there. Not cleaning my brush. Because I'm lazy. Now the edge of my page runs at about there. Just getting a whole heap of color on. Like so. So art journaling is, for me, just about playing with colour. And of course, the techniques that we do here, you can also do in your journal. You can do on a scrapbook page. You can do lots and lots of different things. All right, so I'm going to get some stenciling on now. So stenciling is, these are some of the stencils that I've got here. There's a whole heap of different ones available online and I'm going to use, oh, I used white on that last time. I'm going to add some layers now over the top using stencils. So really, it doesn't really matter too much what colors I use. I'm going to pop in here with some teal, mermaid, sorry and my blending tool. So I tend to keep one blending tool for warm colors, one blending tool for cool colors, okay? 
Now, I'm just going for lots of different pattern in the background. I'm not worrying too much about how much coverage I've got. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just kind of noticing some of the comments at the same time here. I apologize if I don't respond to your questions. I just kind of glance up every now and again and notice your comments there. But what I'm looking at doing here is adding pattern, nice, simple pattern. The stencils that I'm using, we have got a huge range of stencils online. I do like to use a little bit of everything. Um, we have got all sorts of colors, uh, sorry, all sorts of stencils, all sorts of different brands, lots of different paper companies. Uh, and I have got, I personally have got a ton of personal stencils that I use quite regularly. So this one, for example, is one of the Natalie May scrapbooking ones. These stencils and uh, the Natalie May scrapbooking stamps are the products that are not on special today. Um, they are, we don't um, put those on special normally. We try and keep those in house, but of course they're available to you. This one here is a paper artsy stencil, which has been out for quite a number of years. I've had it in the shop, but you can see I'm just layering up some color and I'm going to start bringing in some darker, deeper blues and some different colors. I've got some Dina Wakeley paints here. I'm going to go with that one. Let's see what else we've got here. This one is one of my arty stencils, uh, my stencils, the Art Alphas. So I can layer these colors up on top of each other quite easily because the colors underneath are almost dry. And that means I'm not going to muddy up and get anything that's too, you know, worry about too, mixing too many colors together because I'm using acrylic paint, they're gonna dry quite quickly. I'm liking it so far. And I just realized how crooked my camera is, guys. Sorry about that. Can't get it right all the time, can we? Mm -hmm. All right, just pop that one aside. I'm gonna crack out some pink. clogged nozzle because we love that. What else we got here? So I've just pulled out, like I said, I've got all sorts of different stencils here. So lots of different brands. Um, this one's a Dina Wakeley one. Again, it's one of her older styles and um, we have had it. I think it has since sold out, but it just pops a, a big splodge of color. There we go. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Building, building, building layers. And I think I might add some, whoops, wrong one, tangerine. So I've got a Dina Wakeley tangerine, nice bright color over the top. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of color off my sponge. What else have we got here? So there's lots of different ways that you can put uh, paint on through a stencil. So you can do it with the, the blending tool like I'm doing here. You can use a blending brush. You can use a palette knife. There are a million different ways of, of transferring paint. I, this is my favorite way. I just like the way that it gives me 
a nice coverage that I can control. Um, I'm going to add some white now because it just needs a few, or maybe some light pink, that might be better, some carnation. Oh, that's better. Still got some colour, but got a little pop behind it. And what are we going to do here? Here we go. Let's use this one. And again, I'm just keeping my warm colours and cool colours separate, but, but still using um, a, a blending tool. So I kind of created a bit of a new colour going on there. Started off as a pale pink, kind of ended up as a bit more like a, a coral, but that's okay. It's giving it a really nice pop. And I might do the same thing here. I might add something to it like a light grey to this little container, this little pile of blues. And from there, there we go. So now I have a new colour. I'm going to pop some simple dots on. So this is my double dot stencil. Yeah, I like that. And as you can see, I'm just getting colour on. I'm not focused on what it looks like. I'm just worrying about getting it on there and getting it covered. Uh, I feel that it needs some yellow. What do you think? So I'm just going to swipe that back and out of the way and swipe that out of the way. Just give that a moment to dry. Might get my heat tool out. And then I'm going to add some spots of yellow just to give it a little lift. So stenciling, layers and layers and layers of stenciling can look fantastic. It is just up to you on, on what stencils that you've got. Pull out all the stencils that you've got at home and have a bit of a play. Um, having a little bit of a, a, a go with something a little abstract can be fun. And I've just had the thought that I might just do a little doodling on it. What do you think? How do we feel about a little doodle? And then I'll put the yellow on. So we can go with just some little... And that's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. So I'm just going to get my paper towel and turn it back, which didn't work at all. <laughs> but this just marks, just some marks. Beautiful. So now if I go back over a few spots with a dirty sponge, I'm not using anything, no paint just a damp sponge. I can line up these spots from before and tone them back, just like that. And because it's just paint and I'm going to cover a lot of it up, I'm not that fussed about it. I don't mind. And this one is still damp from earlier. So, no, where do I want to do it here? And then I'll add the yellow. That's a little better. Okay, yellow. So, yellow is here ready to go and what am I going to do with yellow I might use the back of my catalyst tool Whoops. I might use the back of my catalyst tool just to give it a few swipes a few pops of color that way
So I'm just kind of gently touching so that it sits on top. And not completely covering it, but making it work. And I might just add a little white as well. And I've got my catalyst tool down flat. So what happens when it's flat is it just picks up a few little points and a few little smudges and it's nothing too fancy not big fat smooches on it smooches on it just like that and dry that off afternoon robin i did notice that you weren't here or that you were late i did start a little early because i'm just super keen today all right, so I have got a lovely, messy background there. Okay, I've got something that doesn't really have much of a plan. Lots and lots of layers of stencils. But what I do want to do is I want to now negative mask it. So what that means is I'm going to draw some circles and I'm going to like circles and half circles and then I'm going to paint around it in white okay so and I'm not going to think too much about where these circles are I'm just going to do it one two three four five six and a half one there is seven okay so next thing I'm going to do so I've done that in the black paint pen so that I can now paint around it in white all right so let's just get rid of that for a second and clean that off and then I'm going to crack out some white paint some gesso and some gray paint now I know that I've covered up I'm going to be covering up all of this loveliness and that's okay because it's part of creating something a little different okay let's make some mess let's make some white mess so I have got here some white gesso so gesso of course is an undercoat and a sealer I'm going to crack out my big paintbrush here. I'm just going to dry it off. Hello, Leith. How are you, sweetheart? Long time no see. The lovely Leith, who has just tuned in, has been on a couple of cruises with me back when we could cruise. So this is going to take a couple of coats. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly through it with a paintbrush and then I'm going to go back over with some white and grey paint and add a little bit of toning to it. Now the colour underneath is probably going to shine through and that's why I'm going to be doing it in a like a grey tone. So colours like purples and reds and pinks are super pigmented and will generally come through shine through oops so it's important to not stress too much about how how much you cover at this point. I haven't done this technique in ages. Now I'm using a good quality gesso. So I am using the Liquitex gesso. It is the it's the it's the leather handbag, not the vinyl handbag, okay? It is the the really really good stuff. 
um, and I use it because it is the best. The Liquitex were the company that created gesso, that came up with the formula for gesso, and I like to use their product. Hello, Isabel. Right, so now I've got some white paint here from Paper Artsy. I also have some gray paint from Paper Artsy. This one is called Koala. And this is just a nice neutral sort of gray. And I've also got one here called Elephant, which is a slightly darker gray. And I'm going to now go over the top of these. So this is almost dry. and cover the background a little bit more, okay? So this time I'm gonna go around like so. And there's a, there is a bit of a, an end goal here. I can, I do know what I'm gonna do. We are gonna be adding some doodling around the circles uh, and I'm and I am loving doing this. Sally has just commented, just watch, finished watching the boy card video that I filmed, when was that, Sal? This morning, wasn't it? So, um, and you loved it, great. Uh, so the, the other car, oh, the, the other, sorry, the other live mini classes that I have done over the last two days. So you are now watching live Facebook number 12. <laughs> 12 uh, I've done four a day so you can go uh, go back and watch those back through my YouTube uh, back through my Facebook you can jump onto YouTube and watch those there are uh, and even ones from previous online shows you can go back and watch those as well so you can just see what I'm doing here the gray and the white are giving a really lovely coverage little bit of paint so yes I'm not just about paint and art journals there's some card classes there's some scrapbook layouts there is art journals, there's, uh, what did we do, uh, alcohol ink cards yesterday, which was a ton of fun. Alright, so now I'm introducing some darker grey, but my paintbrush here is a little bit too wide, so I'm going to track down a thinner paintbrush. No, that's not thinner. That's a bit too thin. That one will do. And I wonder if that paintbrush was clean. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with... And just give some little bit of definition, little bit of shading. So shading just comes from adding a slightly darker colour with a little bit of white in there as well. Let's see the bit that I missed there. And I'm making a point of adding the grey, especially over where I had pinks and reds, because that will help tone that back. So tomorrow I've got three more live Facebook plan, uh, live Facebooks planned, um, and I'm going to be doing a couple of scrapbook layouts tomorrow. So I'm going to do a scrapbook layout first thing in the morning at 10:30 a.m. Adelaide time, and I have had a couple of people comment and say that they they've been sitting and waiting for the Facebooks um, because of the time difference. I'm in Adelaide, so I always put things up in Adelaide times. So um, if you're unsure 
what the Adelaide time zone is. It is currently 4.24 p.m. where I am. So I will always put things up in Adelaide times. If you are confused. All right, so can you see what's happening here? Covering up that background, but making these lovely circles here, the hero of the page. And I'm loving this, actually. I would have liked to have done one here as well. I should have thought that through a little, but I didn't, so that's okay. Okie dokie. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just giving that a moment to dry. Um, yeah, so tomorrow morning's class, we're going to be doing a scrapbook layout with a mixed media sort of background, an arty-farty background. Um, in the afternoon, after lunch, I will be doing a, uh, a Minte double scrapbook page, maybe double, maybe single, maybe two pages. And that will be available as a kit for you to purchase online. So you'll be able to watch me create it live and then it'll, um, you'll be able to purchase the kit to go with it. And then the afternoon, I haven't decided what we're doing in the afternoon yet, so. But I look forward to having fun. I'm just going to hit that with a heat gun to dry it off. And then the next thing we're going to do is add some detail. So the detail comes from the doodling. The doodling and finishing off these circles. And how am I going to do that? I didn't think that through. I might use my black paint pen. I could also use my black Stabilo pencil. Or I could use both. Let's go for both. Uh, before I do that though, uh, I want to use, I might use some white paint, or oh, no, a white paint pen. Totally winging it here. Some white, a white paint pen to do a few little highlights. Sharpen some of these edges up. Not totally necessary because I'm going to cover it up anyway. All right. So let's start out with the black paint pen. So the black paint pen is exactly that. It is a um, a black pen. I always test it on here first. And I'm going to hold my pen quite high, my black paint pen quite high. And do some loose circles. Now because it's a black paint pen if you do something that you go oh don't love that you can tone it back but as you can see I picked up some paint with the edge of my baby wipe. Right. But I can paint over the top of that because I still have this sitting here. Okay, that works for me. Let's just leave that there for the next mistake that I make. And I find it really easy just to keep that flow going. So I'm going to, that's why I continued it out to that circle there. Um, all right, now I'm gonna use the Stabilo pencil. So the black Stabilo pencil, what a Stabilo pencil is, is a water soluble pencil. So just while that's drying, I'll talk, talk, talk to you about this. So this will write on just about everything and has an excellent permanency to it. And it is super black. It is not just like a normal watercolor pencil. So for example, 
if I just draw a line and then get a paintbrush I can and some water I can activate that and it becomes a really nice black the other thing is like I'm gonna do so there's my circle and now I can activate it there's lots and lots of things that you can do with a Stabilo pencil um, having a sharp Stabilo pencil is also very handy so I'm just going to outline a little bit more it just gives a different texture and a different feel to what's going on here it kind of works like a, a black paint when we activate it and it's also smudgeable so while it's wet you can get in there and you can give it a really good smudge as well okay mm -hmm. so now with that thinner paintbrush I can go in and activate some of those little areas and it just creates another layer of interest and I will bring the page up to the camera in a moment for you to see the detail because it's hard to get it all on camera and I'm happy with that I'm going to dry that off pages uh, generally do look much 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 better with titles or phrases to help tell the story of the page so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit of darker gray stenciling I think it, it needed that so I'm just going to take this wet sponge off put it in my water and grab another one I'm going to grab this grey for, for shadowing just while I think about how I'm going to do a title. Might pop a little bit up here. Yeah, I like that. And I'm not wanting to go over the top of my circles. But grey on grey, that's too much there. How do I tone that back? I'm going to put my stencil back on and I'm going to use my targeted baby wipe. With a lighter grey. here shades of the same color over the top now hello Leslie welcome welcome Now, because that's too strong in there for me and I'm just not loving the way that it's sitting because it's acrylic paint I can paint straight over the top so I have just got a mix of that same color in the background and I'm just toning that back not making it disappear just toning it back and I can do the same thing anywhere else where I think it's too much because I have the power. Yeah, I know. 
Oh, I know. Okay. There we go. So I've got these huge, big, bold pumps of colour in the middle there. Let's think about it. I need a big, fat word up there. Anyone want to give me some title ideas? Any thoughts, girls? What have you got for me while I grab some stamping? Some stamps. Okay, and I'm going to cut a, a circle out using some paper towel because it's going to make a nice little mask. Because I want to add some stamping to those coloured, those big coloured circles. But I don't want to stamp on the white. So I want to be able to, oh look at that. Okay, I want to be able to do that. Some black archival ink. And I have got here my blah, blah, blah and my original, my blah, blah, blah stamp set. Um, so that's got the original art, the blah, blah, blah. But instead of using the big words, I'm going to use these little words. stamp in here. So I could have stamped first. Oh, okay. Let's just pop that aside. How did I pick up a dry ink pad? That's what I want to know. Oh, because I picked up the grey. Oh, wondering why it wasn't showing up. Okay, the struggle is real here today, people. Here we go. That's better. And so you see what's happening, that's masking off so that I'm only getting the stamping in the middle area. And that is what I'm going for, okay? And I'm not doing it on all of them, only a few. Turn my masked circle around to suit. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm also going to use my Won't Let You Down stamp, which is just some typewriter words um, in the in similar words to one of my favourite songs. And then sometimes you do that. You use it and you don't check that the print is up the right way. Now, because I noticed that very quickly, I was able to wipe it off. Turn my stamp around and make sure I am stamping up the right way this time. There we go. And because it's acrylic paint, it allowed me to do that. If I was working on something else, it would not have allowed me to do that. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, that works for me and a little over here. And again, I'm not using an acrylic block. The circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. Is that a song? Susan's just written that, which is actually pretty cool. Um, that sounds like a song lyric. Yes, it is a song. Some more 
layering of words in here just because it needs a little bit more interest inside these circles. Now, I can quite easily, uh, I could, I'm, I'm not too sure, I, I could almost do them so they're like hanging, but then they become a bit Christmas tree, so I don't think I really want to do that. Uh, I can, I might pop a frame around the edge of my page first. Let's do that, and I'm going to use a, a black Sharpie for that. So this is a really, really cool way as well. If you are someone who, uh, if you don't, if you create a page and you think, oh, you know what? I don't know that I love it, which is okay. Loving your work takes time. Enjoying the process is everything. But if it's something that you kind of go, oh, I don't know about that. You can easily cover it up or build on it by doing this sort of technique. This works great with a black background as well. I didn't want to do black. I felt like doing grey today. Ah, what are we going to do? See, now it's kind of coming together. And I think I need like a long sort of sentence. So just bear with me just a moment. I have an idea and I have something saved on Pinterest that I'm just going to pull up in another tab here on my laptop, in my quotes, in my quotes, in my quotes, where's my quotes? So having um, Pinterest for, for, for quotes is fantastic because you can just jump in there and um, what's this one say? I don't know what's longer, a microwave minute or a treadmill minute. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here we go. I need to find the right pen because I'm going to hand write this. And I've mentioned before when I do... Uh, when I've done lives, I'm all about finding, I've, I've got a million and one different pens. I collect pens like most people collect craft supplies. <laughs> all right. One day, you... We'll look back and see all along that you oh, hang on. that you were blooming. So this is just a quote by Morgan Harper Michaels, um, according to Pinterest, uh, that I don't need to write down here who the quote is by because this is my art journal for me. Uh, so therefore I'm quite happy with that. And it's my scribble that I'm also quite happy with so it doesn't bother me that it's messy or it's neat or you know it's whatever you want it to be. I do feel that it needs some black splatters. So something else that you can do with a Stabilo pencil is make a black ink out of it. So I'm making on my, my craft mat here, which if you don't have one of these mats for your crafting, you are missing out. So now I have got a black ink just by activating that. 
And up here, so I'm going to use my piece here. I'm just going to add some black splatters. It's not everywhere. Just in a few Half of it's on my leg because I'm wearing shorts, you know, because that's what we do, splatter it everywhere. But it is a tap, and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment to show you. And I feel that my edges aren't strong enough, so I'm just going to do a little of that, and I'm going to move that. and stop. Knowing when to stop is important. Alrighty. So I'm really happy with that. I am pretty thrilled with this lovely grey background. Um, it was a bit of a process. You kind of look at it and go, what did she cover that up for? Well, I covered it up because it's not always about having everything on show. Alright. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh. And let's bring that up and give you some detail, okay? So you can see that that black splatter is just a nice drop and that'll dry up quite nicely. You can see that those words are stamped within that circle. I masked that off with that paper towel because I did that as an afterthought, okay? Um, that grey dot stenciling over the top. And the stenciling that I did in the background is showing through in those colored dots, okay? So it's not always about the perfect art journal page. It's about the, it's about the, the process that you took to get to this. So I really loved all of that, just throwing paint on in the background and then seeing what happens when you cover it all up and then these spots go boom in your face. Really, really fantastic. Um, and, and stepping away from a black or a white background to create a grey background is certainly different as well, okay? Um, and I do love that. So if you want to see um, how I've created that page, feel free to scroll back through the uh, Facebook posts or have a look on YouTube, uh, Natalie May Scrapbook ideas um, and you will find the videos for today um, this is my last live Facebook for today and uh, you can grab until the end of the day 15% off of stamps and stencils on nataliemay.com.au as the Saturday daily deal as well as dies so your paper dies or your die cuts to do awesome things like that there and that there um, and we have got some fantastic other deals that are only available until the end of tomorrow. Uh, also, you will find um, the No Judgment postage is back again. And what that is, of course, just to touch on that again, is pay $12.50 for your first order. Then after that, select No Judgment at the checkout for your additional orders. Uh, and we'll bundle them, bundle them all together for you. So just remember, postage is not free but uh, and limited to three kilograms. Uh, and we'll get that out to you. But we have some other fabulous specials. There's some neon watercolours by Art by Marlene out on clearance. These gorgeous little rhinestones, I think there's still a couple of packets of those left. They were $20, they're down to 14 And we've got, if you are a paper crafter and you like to do some fussy cutting for cards, these here are massively discounted, these books. Are fabulous for creating um, focal points for your art journals and card makers and scrapbookers, etc. So that's it from me today. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Join the creative community on Facebook and enter our monthly competition. We would love to have you enter and you're going the chance to win a $25 gift voucher to the online store, which is super cool. So thanks guys. That's it for me. I'm going home to sit in the hammock and have a glass of wine. Um, 
and I look forward to chatting with you all at nine o'clock tomorrow morning and we will tell you about the deal of the day. All right, guys, stay safe, wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, and I will chat to you all really, really soon.